The 1979 Daytona 500 is arguably NASCAR's most important race ever. The Daytona 500 is NASCAR's most important race every year, but what makes the 1979 Daytona 500 stick out from all of the rest? Was it the elite cast of drivers like Richard Petty, Kel Yarbrough, the Allison brothers, and even Dale Earnhardt making his first ever NASCAR start? While the lineup is very impressive, many of the same elite faces would make appearances in later Daytona 500s. The race itself was also very good as it came down to a very intense last lap as one of the more memorable finishes in NASCAR history. But what made this event so great is that it was NASCAR's first ever event broadcasted live. This would catapult NASCAR into its golden days throughout the 1980s and 90s. The most interesting thing to most people about this race is the iconic fight between Kel Yarbrough and the Allison brothers Bobby and Donnie. The fight occurred after Kel Yarbrough wrecked Donnie Allison on the last lap. Because of this, the king himself, Richard Petty, was able to fly by and pick up his 6th Daytona 500 victory. Daryl Waltrip, AJ Foyt, Donnie Allison, and Kel Yarbrough would round out the top 5. Only the top five drivers would manage to finish on the leading lap. And the next three drivers were the only ones not to be down multiple laps. Donnie Allison would end up leading the race with the most laps with 93. Richard Petty would have 12. And Dale Earnhardt would be third with 10. There would end up being 36 different lead changes throughout the race. Dick Bergen a motorsports announcer, would state that this was the first ever race that people really talked about, and that no one really understood the importance of this race until many years later. With modern NASCAR slowly falling off, there may never be another race this impactful for the sport. That is one of the main factors that has made this race so great and so memorable. If you want to watch this historic race yourself, you can pick it up on DVD as it was released in 2007. I will put a link in the video description of where you can buy the DVD if you wish to own it. And if you wish to know more, I will also link a documentary about the event in the description.